Okay, so we are back and I'm wanting to showcase the benefits of baby powder with your 3D scanner. So I've got this wheel that came out of our freezer and it's uh, white but it's pretty shiny. And what you'll see is it's very difficult to scan. Uh, another trick that you've probably seen in some of my other videos where the, the green star is, is I like to uncheck the exclude base from the scanning. I, I find that using the, the geometry and the texture of the turntable winds up usually helping with tracking quite a bit. But even in this case, I'm really struggling to have tracking. And even when I do track with uh, surrounding markers, there's nothing being picked up for this wheel. It's just, it's too shiny. It's too reflective. You can see it in the infrared view uh, from the phone, how the white object is just turning red. It's, it's not getting any meaningful data. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in some baby powder. And I accidentally and literally threw it here, but it ended up in the bowl. So that's a win. And this is nothing special baby powder. Uh, we've got kids, so we had some laying around. And just pour a little bit on. And really just kind of knocking it around so that it doesn't make a mess on the, the turntable. But if I wanted to be more detailed, I could use a brush. But this seems to work okay. You'll see the uh, exclude base is not checked this time, um, just to make it even more challenging. Uh, you can see that it's actually picking up a lot of detail now, though, with the baby powder. Uh, in the infrared view, you can see that it's still kind of red, but it's not quite as red as it was before. Uh, and tracking is pretty good. Uh, I'm able to spin it relatively fast while keeping tracking and picking up a lot of the data. Uh, I can see by looking at it that most of the model is turning green, but not quite all of it. So trying an overhead view to see if I can improve that at all or not. It looks like there's a, a little bit of a, a hole in the top of it. Uh, it's probably just because I, I messed a bit of baby powder there. Uh, yeah, and you can see the, the top left of that is missing. Uh, luckily, it's a flat spot, so that'd be pretty easy to fix in post-process if I need to, but... Since I've got a second, I'll show the, the latest modifications I've made to my uh, mount system. The lower part is a battery pack. It's got a wall adapter so you can plug it in and charge it without removing it from the case. A lanyard to just hang around if you want it to. And then of course the, the grip for the Creality Outer that you can use in the mobile setup or tethered to the computer either way. And then there is the wheel from the freezer. So we'll just take a look here and you can see in the point cloud the uh, piece that's missing. Uh, again, that's likely just due to the fact that the baby powder didn't cover it on it. Uh, I wasn't being super careful and precise, but here let's uh, dump a bunch more baby powder on it and move it around and we can probably make it even better. So we'll just Reassemble the mount system that I have. Plug in the USB cables. And these aren't the, the final USB cables. They're just ones that I'm playing with to get things functional. And then we'll shake off the wheel a little bit so that it doesn't make a, a big mess. And then we'll wind up rescanning this. And you'll see I, I toggled a little bit with the uh, exclude flat base button. So right now it's in the most challenging because it's excluding the, the base. And for a moment here, I do lose a little bit of tracking actually, uh, but that's easy enough, enough just to restart the scan, uh, put it in the mode that I like. And here we go. You can see I'm picking up a lot of detail pretty much everywhere. So the, the surface is picking up well, which is helping with the tracking. The wheel that I'm scanning uh, looks to be turning green pretty fast. So we'll just continue around. And then, of course, we'll, we'll try to get a couple of different angles uh, from the, the view to help make sure that we capture uh, as many of the features and details as possible. And it looks like that hole 
is gone from the prior scan, so I've got a little bit better coverage with dumping the baby powder on it, so that's good. And what we'll do is we'll wind up stopping the scan here in a moment, and then we'll just run it through the phone and, and see how it turns out as well. Uh, but you can already see that most of it is green, and there's no glaring holes, so it's it's going to be better. We'll just go ahead and toss that back in the bowl again, carefully this time. And we'll shove the turntable out of the way. And again, since we've got a few moments to kill, we'll wind up just uh, showing off the mountain here. And it looks like the turntable is able to turn it. Interesting note, uh, my full setup here is about 50 grams lighter than Creality's scan bridge. So I've still got a few more tweaks to make to it before listing this variant, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Okay, the optimization is almost done, so we can take a look at the point cloud. Uh, we're not going to mesh it this time. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll look at the point cloud once it's done, and you'll be able to see that uh, basically we, we went from scanning nothing on the wheel to capturing quite a bit of detail just by using baby powder. And most people have that around and available, so it's easy. It's relatively cheap. Looks like I lost tracking for a little bit, and there's a small artifact with this. But I, again, I went from scanning nothing to capturing all of that detail just by using some baby powder. So if you have a scan that you're struggling with, give it a try. Thanks for watching, and as usual, if you have comments or questions, please leave them below.